USS Wasp Strike Group recently departed Commander Fleet Activity Sasebo to patrol the waters of the 7th Fleet Area of Responsibility. This deployment hallmarks the first use of the F-35B Joint Strike Fighter on an amphibious ship, as well as implements the concept of the upgunned Expeditionary Strike Group. Now with the advent of uh, two enablers, uh, the first is the MV-22 and the second one is JSF. We have significant capability that we never had before in our big deck amphibs. It isn't just evolutionary, it's revolutionary as to uh, the capability, the capacity that we now have in our uh, amphibious ARG. The upgunned ESG is a U.S. Pacific Fleet initiated concept that aims to provide lethality and survivability to a traditional three-ship amphibious ready group. Less than two months after arriving at Commander Fleet Activity Sasebo, USS Wasp has departed on their first regional patrol of the Indo-Pacific. This deployment differs from previous 7th Fleet patrols and then it will feature a couple of additions will be out at sea operating with the WASP Expeditionary Strike Group. And what's unique is we're operating as part of a concept called upgunned ESG, where we take a traditional amphibious readiness group and then we bring in guidance. We're here on the great ship USS WASP uh, as part of 18-1 uh, deployment, the first deployment of the WASP in the Western, Western Pacific. And on one hand, it's a very routine deployment. For decades, the United States Navy, uh, consisting of amphibious readiness groups, have been patrolling in the Western Pacific, maintaining security and stability. But on the other hand, it's a historic day and a historic patrol for two reasons. Number one, uh, starting today, we started launching and landing the F-35B, which is a game-changing capability for the Navy Marine Corps team operating from sea. And the second reason is we're going to start operating with guided missile destroyers uh, to provide this extra capability and provide senior leaders with more options and how to employ this force. So you have a traditional ARG MU with the WASP ARG and the 31st MU. You also have F-35Bs superimposed on top of that enormous capability with the fifth generation fighter. And then even beyond that, we have guided missile destroyers providing a broad range of mission capabilities to augment the force. Take that together, it's a group that packs a powerful punch uh, and it can undertake a full range of missions from humanitarian assistance to combat operations. On one hand, this is a routine deployment. The United States Navy, as part of the 7th Fleet, have been operating in the Western Pacific for decades. On the other hand, it's special and historic because of F-35Bs and their presence and the capability that brings, as well as guided missile destroyers. All the capabilities that the platforms bring in aggregate make this special and give us more capability than we've ever had before. So here we are at the end of day one of our spring deployment on USS Wasp, and it has been an enormous success. It's a big day. Uh, for the first time in history, we're deploying with the F-35Bs. We took six of them aboard today, landed them, launched them, recovering. Now we're finished. We're heading back to a new op area, switching, and we're going to do it again. This is going to become the norm for Wasp and the 31st Mu for the foreseeable future. Having this capability really elevates our game to an entirely different level and frankly is a game changer in what we can do as a force. So what's making this deployment special? First, we're bringing the WASP uh, in, and integrating the WASP with the 31st Mu. Second, we're taking the F-35B and superimposing that tremendous capability the, for the first time on deployment. Third, we're taking U.S. guided missile destroyers and their capabilities, adding that to the group. But most predominantly, we're taking the 3,000 sailors and marines, capturing that great talent. That is our main battery, our people. Uh, the USS Dewey brings the, the speed and agility and flexibility uh, to the ESG. Uh, we have the capability of conducting strike missions in support of moving marines to the beach. This is a multi-warship uh, capable ship. Uh, we have the Aegis weapon system. Uh, uh, the primary sensor is a spy radar. Uh, great opportunity for, to provide surveillance and detection uh, for our marine brothers. Uh, we also have a whole mounted sonar. So when we're operating in the littorals to hunt for submarines, along with our MH-60 Romeo helicopter that, that's on board. We have two of those as well to assist us in providing that that surface surveillance, uh, 
protection and also uh, anti-submarine warfare capability as well. Uh, multiple uh, small arms, uh, crew serve weapons. We have a close-in weapon system and also our five-inch gun for surface and air engagements as well. So what we bring to the fight is an armament that can protect Marines going ashore in a moment's notice. Uh, for the other sailors operating the strike group and the clue of mine, this is a great opportunity for all of us. Uh, the Navy is continuing to, to develop and, and change uh, and uh, stay at the tip of the spear. And this is a great opportunity uh, for us uh, to bring the uh, Marine Corps side and the Navy side together, especially with adding destroyers to the strike group to continue to flex our capability and improve and continue to be successful as a Navy.